So MJF and Adam Cole are training for their pre-show match with Ozzy Oldham for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team title. And since they're from Australia, they want to scout them out. So they go to the Outback Steakhouse to do more movie buddy comedy or buddy movie comedy or whatever the f kind of comedy this is that they're doing. And after that, they go to, they got the Crocodile Dundee one and two DVDs and MJF is watching kangaroos fighting on his phone and he develops the kangaroo kick and then they see an inflatable crocodile and there's some fucking random guy, I don't know who the fuck he was, that was standing next to a kiddie pool with the inflatable crocodile and they double clotheslined the guy into the kiddie pool and then got sent to Tony Khan's office where with the door closed, we are led to believe that Tony Khan actually yelled at somebody and cussed him out for doing something wrong, which is the fakest, most preposterous thing that's ever been on his program. And then MJF plugged Hattie B's chicken, which is the best hot chicken in Nashville. It's the best chicken you've ever had in your life. But he said he had to go take a shit. Apparently, you got the what the cluck instead of just the regular spicy. This was my favorite part, though, right after MJF left. I what what happened? I don't even remember what happened after him. I just I just wrote. I know it's drawing ratings, but he's MJF has become fake as the rest of these fucking guys. What was the out? Roddy Strong at the end uh, kicked the tire of the car. Oh, that's right. He came up. He and hurt his foot, yeah. and then uh, Matt Taven briefly made an appearance in the background, but then it cut to commercial. That's right. Roddy's still mad that. Adam is friends with Max, so he kicked the tire on Max's car and hurt his foot. That's my, can I be it. honest with you? That's my favorite thing about this whole thing. It's so ridiculous. Roddy Strong's new character of being the hurt friend with the neck brace. Now he's hurt his foot. Kick it. He's like you as a manager. Everything he kicks, he hurts his foot. And then Taven and Bennett are just like the mute friends that are following him <laughs> around for an undefined reason. There's a reason why the manager was the one that did all the funny stuff so that the people would believe that the wrestlers were actually going to be serious and have a good fight instead of 